rid of a peg one. Go ahead, keep knitting all the way down to peg 14. So we have reached peg 14. Go ahead and knit it. And then on the next peg, we are going to pick up the stitch of peg 15. Just hold on to your working yarn and with your tool take the work in the loop of peg 15 and hold it with your knitting tool. Now with your working yarn wrap the peg. So simply go around the peg and the working yarn will end up towards the front of the peg. Place the stitch back on the peg and you just created a wrap on that peg. By wrapping the peg you have eliminated a hole. So now let's go ahead and do row number four, which tells us to purl back to purl from peg 14 all the way to peg one. So your working yarn is wrapped around peg 15. Just leave it the peg 15 like that. It will have the loop and the wrap and go ahead and purl peg 14. and continue purling all the way back to peg one. So we have reached peg one and now row five tells us to change to the a color so if you are knitting with two colors go ahead and change to the A color I am only knitting with one so I'm just going to continue with the same color and this row tells us to knit to the last four stitches so from peg 1 to peg 13 basically what you're doing you are knitting to one peg before the wrap so you'll be knitting to that peg and then wrapping that one so let's go ahead and knit to peg 13. So, knit. And continue knitting all the way down to peg 13 or to four stitches before reaching the end of the loom, the number of pegs that you cast it on. So here we are, we have reached, we have knitted to four pegs before reaching the end. There's one, two, three, and four. So like I said before, we will knit to one peg before reaching the peg with the two wraps on it. So now bring your working yarn towards the front of the peg. Take the loop off the next peg. And now with the working yarn, wrap the peg, the empty peg, replace the loop back and now you're ready for the next row, row number seven, I'm sorry, row number six and in this row we will have to purl back so just as a little note, as a little tip, if you're working from left to right you will be purling, if you're working from right to left you will be knitting so go ahead and now purl from peg from the next peg that you have wrapped from peg 13 all the way back to peg 1 and you will be doing this same sort of thing knitting to one peg before the last peg wrapped and thus creating working in short rows, meaning not working the entire row, just partial row. And then we will have a consolidation row, which all that entails is just knitting basically all the way to the end of the row, picking up every single wrap that you put on the pegs. So just keep working towards the beginning of the round, 
by Perlin. So we have just pearl back to pick one and now we're ready to do another knit row but first let me show you how things look on the other end over here we have now two pegs with a wrap and the stitch the next one the wrap and the stitch and this is what you are going to be looking for until you finish row number 25 we are going to have then the next peg this one with a wrap and a loop then the next one wrap in a loop and we are going to continue to achieve this by knitting one row this next row we will knit to this peg right here leaving the next one open so that we can wrap it once we wrap it we turn back and we purl to the beginning of the row and then we have to work a knit row and again we will knit to the peg before the one with the wrap so let's go ahead and just follow the instructions in the pattern all the way down to let's say what uh, row number 23 where you purl now let's do row number 22 where you're going to knit to the last 14 stitches peg 1 to 3 only you will knit only peg 1 to 3 and then you will pick up stitch from peg 4 and wrap the peg and then place the stitch back on the peg uh, so let's get to that point, row number 22. 